This is Mrs. Wilkoskis in the library. This is part three of finding resources on the transatlantic slave trade. Alrighty. This video is dedicated on finding video resources to use as research. Okay. So on Briscoe's um, Pathfinder, and you can also find this on an AV Pathfinder a little bit further down, but I put this content block on Briscoe's Path Pathfinder. Also, you have this content block and click here for student usernames and passwords. If you link through here, click through one of these links and it doesn't authenticate you, come back here and grab the username and password. Sometimes, uh, PBS Learning Media and Discovery Education do not authenticate you going through Haiku, so you'll need a password. We're going to start with NBC Learn. Okay, so I clicked over to NBC Learn. I typed in triangular trade. You'd get more, more or different results if you typed in slavery or transatlantic slavery. You need to use those different terms that we've already talked about in the first two um, videos, but I want to show you how to use videos as resources. And to me, a video is a great way to explore these different topics. Um, I can just sit and watch a 30-minute video on... Um, slavery and get a, a good sense of some background information and maybe take me into an area of research that I'm kind of interested in. But let me show you how you would use these videos for research. So uh, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to look at the triangular trade in the middle passage. So click through this. This is called a cue card. Uh, not that you care, except it refers to it as a cue card and that threw me the first time. So let's say I watched this. I thought it was helpful or interesting. I could come over here and I can grab the transcript. Um, because I think it's much easier to paraphrase looking and reading from the transcript than trying to remember what was said in the video. Um, and especially if you wanted to actually cite someone verbatim, you could actually then copy and paste. Okay. I'm going to flip this cue card over. I can get my citation right here. Click Chicago, uh, manual Chicago Manual of Style. Here are the key words that the librarians, because they are actually librarians that work at NBC Learn, that used to catalog this video, cataloged this under triangular trade, but also all of these other terms. So if you found that those other terms were helpful, you could actually then use some of those terms in your search process. Okay, so clip this back over and you can just, play with these videos and see if anything's of use to you. All of these are only about three minutes long. So they're not going to give you lots of background information. If you want more background information, you can come over to classroom video on demand. Okay. And again, you can get little short segments. So when you notice I'm, I search by segment and when I search by segment, this is my, these are my search results. This right here is the title of the segment. This is the title of the video that it's in. So this segment right here, Slave Trade, is only two minutes and 38 seconds long. This segment is only two minutes and 18 seconds long. So if I wanted to do a little investigating about this, so I would come here, click here. If I found this video useful, then I might actually come back and listen to more of the video. So you can see this is the eighth segment in the video. And I could actually watch the whole thing if I thought it was helpful. If not, I just watch that segment, click transcript. As I play this video, it actually reads it over here and it highlights it as it goes down. You can actually search the transcript. It makes it very, very nice. You can actually cite this. Here we go. Copy and paste. Whoopsie. Copy and paste. Right here. Always check your citations, but these are great resources. These are not going to be great resources for you to, to be your main resources. They're good for giving you lots of background information and ideas and good for giving you like, um, like secondary resources. This should not be your main meaty resources for uh, your research project. Okay. And then discovery education. This is one you have to log in to, which I've already done. There's a generic login. When you get to this landing page, you have to go to my DE, which is my discovery education. This is what it looks like. See generic. I typed in a term. I think I typed in Atlantic slave trade and I get all these different resources. I got 46 hits, 46 different little video segments. So let me just show you how to pare that down. First thing you want to do, because discovery education meets K through 12 needs, not just high school needs. So I would, um, just check middle school and high school. 
And that way you don't get, because you can actually get like, um, like kid shows on here, like Liberty Kids and things like that. Um, I think Fetch by Ruff Ruffman, that kind of stuff is on here, or that might be on PBS, but you'll see that kind of stuff here too. I'm going to come down here. Uh, typically this looks like this. We're going to expand it. I don't want all these images. I just want videos. So I'm going to undo the images and I just want videos and that's going to take my results down. And now I can look at these different results. Now, let me just show you a couple different things. Okay. So here's the name of the video segment. Sorry. I'm going to click right there. And here is the name of the whole video. Here's the name of the segment. Okay. You can watch the segment. Uh, this one does not have a transcript. Many of them do. I. Uh, but I think I had to scroll down here. I can't remember which one I found earlier that had a transcript. Um, I'm just going to skip right here and see if this is the one. No, I've already forgotten. There it is. Transcript. Transcript it comes over here. You can search the transcript and it highlights it as it reads it down. It is not as easy to paraphrase from this transcript. I'm just letting you know. Okay, last one is PBS. This is the best content ever, and it's the worst search function I've ever seen. So uh, the whole thing has like 800 hours of video, and yet I hit slave trade, and I get 3,200 hits. That's crazy. But anyway, so when you type in slave trade, I get, get 3,000 hits. I would start by limiting it to maybe high school stuff. I would limit it to video. You can see now it's, it's paring down my results. I would limit it to English, probably. I might even limit it to my premium content. That's the paid for content. That's what we pay for, the good stuff. And you'll start to see, okay, I've got 281 hits and this is getting, I'm getting appropriate resources, okay? This content's the best I have. However, there's no ability to cite it, or excuse me, I shouldn't say there's no ability to cite it. We can cite it. I can help you cite it. There's no citation generator, and there's no um, permalink. So if you want to come back to this video, you're going to have to come back and dig through this database again. Uh, and there's no transcript. Uh, so you're going to have to take notes, um, but it's still my best video resources. So hopefully you found this helpful. I'm always available to help. Let me know if you have any questions and come see me in the library.